Okay, we are going for a little ride in the car because um, I have to go on a little road trip. So I'm going to be bringing you along with me for the next couple hours. I don't know how much I'm going to film, but we're going. Anyways, um, don't forget, you guys, 25% um, off my cameos until February 1st. So you still have like four or five days, but it's the Valentine's Day sale. And this is the last sale until probably Christmas next year because there's no other major holidays. So anyways, just letting you know, link down below. But let's go in the car. Let's go downstairs. Click the link down down below to follow my cameo where I will make a special video just for you. We can also message each other too. Link below. Hey everyone, it's me, Nick Avocado. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Hi. Oh my gosh, my hair is so clean and poofy. I washed it. Okay. I wash, I wash my hair every day, but some days I don't. What is this person? Why do they have to be so close to me? You really? Yeah, there's all these parking spots here and here and you had to go right next to me. Watch my car. And this person is driving with headphones on. He's not paying attention. I'm about to beat my horn in a minute. You guys, here I am at the Salvation Army. I'm returning some of my sheets because they won't accept them. Well, excuse me, they won't let me return because it's season or what, oops, oops, can't say the word. Nick, edit out that word. Um, it's you the you know what season and they won't accept the return, which is weird because other companies do, so they're being extra careful, which is nice. But what I have to do is donate them to the Salvation Army and then I have to show them the receipt and they'll refund me, so that's nice. Well, guess what? I forgot two of my sheets and I, I feel like an idiot. I, they're still in the apartment, so I'm not, I'm not even having it right now because I'm shaking. My blood sugar's really going down. So I got some McDonald's. Let's just chill and chat together, you know? Let's just chill and chat because I need to come back to life. Now, I did tell you yesterday I was going to do a healthy diet. We're going to do an orange juice, orange juice cleanse. Nah. <laughs> it really has benefits. Actually, some people commented like, ew, just drinking nothing but sugar. It's different. There's something special. There's a few doctors physicians who back in like the early 1900s did these studies where people just read it's a thing it's not a lifelong thing but it's a thing it, it's more powerful there's something about the oranges that are really healing um in my opinion it really works but anyway i don't feel like doing that i feel so much better in my stomach thank you for all your thoughts and prayers it still feels a little off i won't i mean i'm being i'm being honest i hope it's not a stomach ulcer or something from all the spicy food you know koreans they love spicy food they have the highest rates of stomach cancers in the world they do so anyways, I'm just going to eat these fresh french fries. I got two. Buy one, get one free. Okay. You just have to use the app. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. So how are you today? Apparently, I caused a lot of drama on the internet yesterday with my video. Not on this channel, but my main channel. I don't care. Oh, honey, if people knew. People knew. Oh. These are good, very hot and steamy. Can't believe this is all I ordered. Oh, hot and steamy. Can't believe this is all I ordered. <clears throat> I'm on the road. Take me three hours to get home. I had something very important to do here. Ooh. My life is out of control, you guys. It's spiraling out of control. I'm still shaking. I feel like this will help. Because today I woke up, I had some coconut. It weren't even that sweet, but I started quivering. So there might be a big change in my life coming up. I'm not ready to tell the internet, but I might tell the internet. It's bittersweet, you know. Oh my god. Mm. These are a lot of baby fries. Let's go this one. These baby fries. I got some ranch. It tastes fine without ranch. I I'm living for my clean hair. Oh yeah. Yeah, all the fries are baby size. Oh, that's a big one. Mmm. <laughs> mm. How are you today? How are you today? That's what I say. Mm. 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 Oh. Yesterday's video, we had pizza together, right? Do you guys eat with me? Probably not. Some days I'm just really hungry. You know, every day, is, every day you never know what to expect like this. Watch. Oh. 
You can't hear that. <clears throat> Every day is an adventure on my channel. Some days I'm screaming, some days I'm stomping around, some days I'm really happy. Some days I, I don't even mukbang. I take one bite and talk the whole time. Some days I turn the camera, I'm like, nom, 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 hi. Update in my life, hi. It's good to connect with you every day. It's so strange to me. I know when I quit posting daily, I'm gonna feel like my life is so empty. Like, wow, I have stuff, I have open time. I can go do stuff. I did get a lot of compliments under yesterday's video. Not, again, my main channel. But my editing skills, let me tell you what hard work is like. That video, right around the damn scooter, it was like a three and a half trip. Do you know how slow, it got slower and slower. And so by the time of it, Orlin had to push me to the charger because the battery basically drained. It was going snail's pace. Like it was already, those scooters are already slow to begin with. But you're, I think it's only like 30 minutes. I ran it to the bottom barrel. Like, oh my gosh, there was like no energy left. It got so slow. But by the last scene at the earrings, it got very slow. Well, that was a three hour process. Cause I do you know how many times I redid my lines? People don't realize I had to sit in first and brainstorm and come up with them. Put get my thoughts, I had to decide in order and then mess up the order on purpose. <laughs> this <laughs> out of order. And, um, but that was obviously the post-production aspect of like switching around the scenes and going back to the purses and going back. But you were just there. The cart's empty, then it's full. You know, it's all these little things. Well, that took three and a half hours. I was actually very hungry after doing it. <laughs> and the crab, I didn't even eat the same day. Because it, it, that, do you know how long it takes to cook a crab? And it's so big and, ah. Uh, those were filmed different days, too. So there's three, two days of filming. Now, it took, I filmed that like two weeks ago. I was very, very angry about something. I was like, you know what? You know what? I will not be cruel, not be mean, but be petty and shady because that's whatever. <laughs> Some shade is the classiest way to be a little sassy. It's the classiest way. I mean, it's better than going up to someone and be like, you are a beep, you are a liar. No, you shade, you throw shade. It's, it's the classiest way. It's not cruel, you know what I mean? It's different than people saying, oh, you should be, you know, you don't deserve to live and stuff like that, but. Mm. Hi. But it took forever to edit. Many, many hours. Days. It makes me grateful to be a mukbanger when it's a little more casually. I mean, I'm still consistent. I still hustle, but. If I had to edit videos like that, oh my god, you get one, you would get one a week. <laughs> well, maybe um, I don't know. Mm. Bam! Hi, wait, I even do a bam. Okay, so hi, I'm back home. Should we do? <gasps> Everything's still warm because everything they seal it up. They seal it up. That's one thing. I mean, I I kind of like it, the whole sanitary thing of it, but I also I also don't because. You know, fast food is notorious for forgetting stuff and messing up your order. So you can't check and verify that everything you order is in the bag. So hopefully this is enough food. Oh, I have to get the scale, don't you worry. I'll get it. I got a free chip. So you guys, I know how to do my points now, it works. Mmm. It's not the best point system like Chick-fil-A or something. No, it's always like a dollar, a dollar off, a dollar off. Chick-fil-A, you'll get a two-course meal. Okay. I should be the spokesperson for Chick-fil-A. Oh, they gave me an extra. Oh, no, they came from little chips. Okay. So I got a Crunchwrap Supreme, mm, which I love. Hot and steamy. You got, These are still physically hot. Look at this. I'm going to show you. It's probably going to steam when I take it off. Ooh. Ow. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh. Hot and steamy. 
Okay, I got all my french fries. Yes, I did. I got my fries. Yes, I did. And then I, this is not enough food. But that's why I ordered this. Yay! This here is a party platter. It's for like six people or something. <laughs> well, about that. It, it, this is the craving box, but it's not just the cravings box. It's the party platter, party, party box. So you get six and six. So I got six Doritos Locos. I got six regular crunchy. So I'm gonna set this up, make it really pretty. You guys, remember how I said, said my stomach's feeling better? It's starting to hurt again. I think I developed an ulcer down there. I'm not one to self-diagnose, but I'm a little scared. <laughs> like, e, it, it hurts. So I think this might actually be my last meal before I go on a diet. I don't know. But I also have to celebrate my weight loss. So here we go. One, two, three. Bam. Cheapers, creepers. This took forever to put up. I have to say to you, try to make this all pretty for you people. It took forever. This is your fault. This is your fault. This is no one else's fault, but your own. And you know, this is getting out of control. So I have everything that I need to do this video. Oh, and my stomach still hurts. I think I actually will start a healthy diet tomorrow because I'm sitting here. I'm like, why do I feel pain in my stomach? Why do I feel pain in my stomach? I haven't eaten all day. I have nothing to eat. I didn't eat. So let's eat. Here we go. Oops. This is your fault. Wait, what? Bring your fork. Thanks. I don't have a fork. Oh, why didn't you tell me? Orlin, you literally just asked for a fork. Shh. You're ridiculous. Let's and why are you mad out of nowhere? Why are you always mad? I thought fat people were supposed to be jolly. I am jolly. I'm very jolly. Click the link down below to follow my Patreon for mukbangs and drama not allowed on YouTube. Must be age 18 or older. Link below. Uh, Santa Claus is jolly. You are not jolly. I'm jolly. You might look like Santa Claus. Cheers. But you're not jolly like Santa Claus. Cheers. Okay, let's try Let's try some food. Oh, let's try this, actually. Orlin, um, um, um my stomach hurts. Ooh. Maybe because you keep making it grow so big. Maybe it's hurting from all the stretch marks that no. are being added to it. No. Mmm. Did you ever do that in school? Round of applause. So round of applause means, means everyone around the I used to get applauses, but you can't relate. This man's gotta go. Okay, let's try a Doritos Loco. <gasps> Yay! Okay, here we go. Now these Doritos Logos are not the Supreme version. They're just the actual tacos. Can you turn the brightness up one for me, please? Oh, we say please now? They can, yes! Because apparently I'm not jolly enough. Ooh, now turn it down one, it's a little too bright. No, you're just really pale because you never look at the sun. Cheers! Mm. Mm. Well, I'm gonna go because I'm actually on a diet and I'm gonna have a salad. Yesterday's video, I did pop up. Oh no, we did. You should see yesterday's video. That was the best pizza ever. You guys saw my cheese balls? Oh yeah. Those cheese balls? Huh, they were so amazing. That was the best little cheese pizza I've ever had. And I've had a lot of pizza. Oh, it shows. You look like you've had a lot of pizzas in your time. Can you? And what about it? Nothing. I'm just talking out loud. You, sir, are a, um, I don't know if I can say it on YouTube, but a eater. I am not, no, that is not me. That is not who I am. So when that goes shh, and then aim, and then er, you are a fat shh, um, a, um, er, um. Uh, there, no, no. no. You don't count because you are beyond fat. You are morbidly obese. Okay, you can go. Goodbye. So I would have goodbye. To be goodbye. 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 Morbidly go obese. Go away. Go away. Go away. Version go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. You are not fat. Go away. Been fat. It's been a hundred pounds since you One. Go Ow. away. Ow. Go away. Leave me alone. Try to. My food. Eat your food. Go away. 
Go away. I'm very jolly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. guys i hope you're all having a fantastic day i'm doing really well too thank you very much mm. very good thank you my tiktok is still viral the video is about to hit 1 million views amazing a million all right i need more water i'll fill it up I was catching my breath. It's because there's so much water in me that everything feels a little strict. Oh, then. A little constrained. So let's, oh, let's weigh myself. Orlin's gonna bring me the scale and he's gonna bring me new water. <clears throat> and he's gonna bring me a new body. Mm. He better, Orlin. Orlin, home. Where's my phone? I'm too hungry to get up. Orlin! Oh, I'm mad. He's ignoring me on purpose. I'm a little clogged. I'm so sorry. Mm. When I have to eat, I have to take my time. I think this is why the water weight is so strong. People have been commenting about my breathing lately. I agree. It's not okay. It's unacceptable. With all these fries, he tipped down. It's his fault. So there's nothing spicy in this food because my stomach's messed up. I'm about to do a cleanse for you. Hold on to your weaves, sisters and brothers and grandpas. Grandpa, hold on to your wig. Thank you. It is about to get out of control. I haven't been on a diet. Since I was in Colombia. I truly haven't. I don't know what's gonna happen to me. I will be if I'll be able to do it. If I'll be able to succeed. If I'll give up and blame it on my viewers. I mean all seriousness. I mean I know I'm a little shady, and this is not even about other people, this is about me because I'm also fat and overweight and unhealthy too. So I'm just speaking from the heart. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> Being this overweight, but I have to. This chalupa is so bad. Ew. <coughs> Excuse me. I like him and eat this. It is hard. I missed the cheddar double toasted one. That was so good. Oh. Oh. Remember when they had their double chalupa? Orlin! They had something called a double chalupa. Oh, it was so good and creamy. This is dry. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> so dry. I don't like dry things, I like wet. Remember my boneless wings fiascos? I'm like, I want it wet, I want it wet, I want it wet. Mm. I want them wet. Yes, I do. <clears throat> so, what are we gonna do? Let's do a Crunchwrap Supreme. Mmm. Oh, let me cradle this one. Ooh. Rocket to sleep. Mmm. Mmm. Rocking this to sleep. This is good. Orlin needs to get the scale so I can weigh myself. <clears throat> I'm gonna go get it myself because this is getting ridiculous. Ridiculous. I will be right back. Okay, so I have the scale. Let's see how much I weigh you guys. Too much. Orlin, close the door. P. 
piece. Ugh, so annoying. You guys, don't worry, he's not coming back anymore. Let's do the scale. I can't wait to see how much I weigh. Oh, my stomach's in the way. I can't look bend down all the way. I have to go sideways. I have to like corkscrew it, like trying to bend down. So I go like this, my lungs get crushed. Okay, here we go, let's find out. I took off my shoes. It's been a very stressful day, so I have a little water weight. Let's see what happens. Three thirty nine. Did you hear that? Let me show you before it disappears. Oh, it just disappeared. I'll do it one more time with my shoes on. Cause I have to show you faster. Cause people don't believe me. Cause apparently I lied too much. Okay, here we go. Three she just raised it one whole pound. She said three thirty nine at first. Ready for operation. Not yet. I'm not getting an operation until I do my weight loss journey. And then we're snipping back the double chin and we're pulling the skin back and making it all like neat and clean. But wait, first we have to eat. Because I'm really hungry. Yep, I did something to my stomach. I've been talking about this for four days now. Now I know it's very alarming. The fact that I haven't healed my stomach yet. I slept. It felt better today. And then I had McDonald's and it started hurting again. I don't know what's happening. But it hurts really bad inside my stomach. Like if I put pressure on it, it hurts. Physically. Last night I kept feeling like I was gonna vomit or I was so nauseous. It was very hard for me to sleep because I felt sick and sick and sick some more. Eight times eight is 64. I'm like, oh my God, this can't be food poisoning. Maybe it's food poisoning. I'm just being over dramatic thing as an ulcer or something. But the thing about spicy food, spicy food can cause it. I mean, obviously there's things that say, oh no, you can't, but I feel like it can. Also, um, I did have an aspirin the day beforehand. Um, I had it at nighttime and then I woke up, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten hours later, I did the fire noodle challenge. And when you have aspirin, it kind of thins your blood and the walls of your stomach become vulnerable. So if you do aspirin too much, you can like develop these things. I rarely take aspirin, very rarely, maybe once or twice a month, like truly. And so I'm like, I can't have developed it just for that alone. But I feel like once I had the spice, it like penetrated into the, the walls of the stomach. Now, I'm not a professional. This is just my all opinion, my thoughts. Because <clears throat> I really don't want to see a, a doctor be like, what are they going to do? How will they be able to find out what happened? They won't. They'll say, stop eating junk. Excuse me, no. This is how I get paid. It's a whole dilemma, let me tell you. So, I don't know what to do. But I'm in pain, you guys. I'm in pain. And I think what I want to do is an orange juice cleanse. Now, again, you Google it and they say if you have ulcers or acid reflux, the last thing you want to do is orange juice and tomato sauce, things that are acidic. But here's the thing. That doesn't, maybe by themselves when you eat other foods, but as a whole, as a mono, a mono diet of just orange juice, it has an opposite effect. This is what I read in a book by Dr. So-and-so. He literally helped people overcome tumors and diabetes and cancer and liver disease and um some lady was so crippled she couldn't even walk she was so sick and then she did the orange juice diet and it healed everything and uh this is just my opinion okay okay i want to be come coming after by the <clears throat> the pharmaceutical industry but you know there's obviously some things that happen in the world that are true that we don't recognize as mainstream fact Let's be real here. Obviously, we can all think of a lot of things that are true, but they're not recognized as mainstream fact. That doesn't mean it's not true anymore. It means that it's just not mainstream. And people will try to uh, contest it and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I have done this for myself in the past. Um, I, in Colombia, I got really sick with a cough. I talked about this yesterday. I got very, very sick. And my weight was spiraling out of control. This is when I did, I did a lot of ramen noodles. Again, the spice, I was having so much acid reflux, so much heartburn. It used to keep me up at night. I couldn't even sleep. It used to keep me up, but so I used to go to bed at like 4 a.m. and then sleep till like 4 p.m. Now, luckily for me, I was not a daily poster. I only had one channel. I didn't have five of them. So I post every day, sometimes twice a day, because I have all these channels, all these responsibilities. <laughs> it's just a lot. And um, I've never really had that time to like heal or take a break or eat healthy. I mean, obviously, you're all, everyone that will comment will be like, Nick, I don't care what you eat. As long as you're funny, I don't care. Y'all are lying, A. B, I've done healthy food, they get no views. And C, YouTube, even if you all clicked it, it won't be spread in the algorithm because guess who pays for ads on YouTube? It's not orange juice, it's not salad, it's not the kale industry. You don't see, you, have you ever seen an ad for eating grapes or bananas? No, you see an ad for this. 
And so they're gonna push their own stuff. So it's kind of like this. I feel trapped a little bit sometimes, but anyway. And let's be real, 99% of the time, I love eating junk, it tastes so good, I love it. it's so much fun. But every once in a while, it would be nice to have like a day, just one day where I eat a little healthy. And um, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm putting my foot down and making the change for myself. And everyone's gonna be like, oh no, you're eating sugar. I know, people are gonna be a little upset by it, but this is just what I wanna do. Anyway. So enjoy your last meal. Maybe I should put in the title, my last mukbang. My last mukbang. <clears throat> or the fact that I gained a pound. Did I? Or did I lose it? I think that was, no, I think it said, I think it said 338 yesterday, today it said 339. But it doesn't take into the account that I'm swelling in my stomach, so that's water. Like it hurts. It hurts so bad. I have to do something, you guys. It's very, very serious. So, <clears throat> enjoy your last meal <laughs> with me. And tomorrow you can watch me cry. I'm trying to be so sad. Hey, Orlan. Taking so long on purpose. What? Orlin, can you please steam me a big old thing of greens? Of greens? Why don't you just eat raw? Spinach? You just bought some Swiss chard, didn't you? I did. Cook it for me, and I'll have raw spinach too. Because I need all this to come out fiber, so when I start my juice cleanse tomorrow. You're gonna crash and burn before day two is over. No. E even if I do it for two days, that would be such a benefit to my body. So I'm still catching my breath. This is really bad. So that I don't start a juice cleanse with Taco Bell stuck in the colon. Uh, I need to everything is stuck in your colon. Okay, well please, let's make it a little easier for me. And everything is getting shoved in. Make it. me a big thing of Swiss chard, steam all of the Swiss chard for me. And then I'll eat that and then have raw, sp raw spinach. So that I go to the bathroom tonight, tomorrow when I wake up and I do the juice and there's less to, to push out more healing. People are laughing. They're they're the they're gonna think this is a joke. It's not a joke. What's the doctor's name that you were telling me about? Which one? You have a couple doctors. Not my doctors. Orlin, stay on topic about the orange juice thing. Oh. Isn't that a book? That's for us to know and for them to never find out. Well, they were all researching already. Right? Cause I said yesterday, I'm like, there's a book about a doctor about drinking orange juice. Well, let them research. Keep them busy. He doesn't like you. Well, I don't know what it's called, but. I'm gonna say, yeah, who? Doctor, who's someone really unhealthy? You are. Okay, you can go. Please go make it so I can start. I wanna eat it while I'm eating this. You wanna eat it while you're doing, oh, switch chart cooks fast, actually. Yeah. Should I spit in it or not too much spit? Go, thank you. I'm not gonna eat it now. I'm just doing it to get him started. My breath, my eyes, my hair, my heart, my chest, my lungs, my stomach, my knees, I feel swollen in my cankles. I am a walking mess. I have to take charge. I'm gonna do it. My goal is seven days. Seven days. And here's the funny thing about the juice diet. I did it in Colombia. All my problems went away. It was amazing. I, I was a little hungry at first. The first couple days were really hard. Oh my God. One's gonna be strapping me down to the bed. I'm gonna be like that girl from The Exorcist. Ah, I want cheese. <laughs> but day, it was better than a water fast. I've done water fasts in the past. Uh uh Don't ever. I did like one for like four days. It was horrid. Some people do a month. I've never done that. I could never. I couldn't even get four past four days. And Orlin um, has done many over the years. That's why his metabolism is so slow. <laughs> and he said the orange juice diet has healed more because he has an autoimmune disease. It has given him, given him more cleaning, healing, and relief. 
than any water fast. There's something in the oranges. I don't know if it's a chemical or an agent or an adjective or like a the pectin. You know, oranges have pectin. I don't know if it's the flavonoids. I don't know what it is about citrus. But they have it. Something. And again, I need another for the umpteenth time. I'm not preaching for you to go do this. Also, I'm not preaching for you to eat junk either. I'm sharing my journey, okay? I'm not selling you anything about diets, but. Huh. The chips are so good. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. You hear that? Sounds like a bouncy ball. I'm gonna take my sweet old time and enjoy the food because tomorrow there will be no food. <clears throat> this is very little spice. <clears throat> Excuse me, there might be some seasoning in this, but <clears throat> but it feels my stomach feels like it just ate fire noodles. So I don't know what I did. Don't know. There's that little taco. Did I eat it all? <clears throat> Wait a minute. The little soft taco, those are my favorite. See, I always, I never get enough of those. This, I do not like. My body wants to reject this. Oh my God, if I can hear them do bouncy balls, they can definitely hear me fart. This is why my neighbors have called so many times. In the administration, they made a, they made me put up these soundboards. No wonder, no wonder. They hear everything. I hate living in apartments. I just, oh, but what am I supposed to do?
I know, I don't even, I'm not enjoying this, my stomach hurts. I can't even speak, like, it actually feels better when I don't eat. Oh my god, it feels like I'm, I'm being punched in my gut. No, not in the gut, in like, right where the, right below the heart, like the stomach, the pouch. That's where the stomach's located. It's, it's not down by your belly button, it is up there. But not up here, it's like right here. I know there's probably nurses watching this, they're very freaked out for me right now. <gasps> Excuse me, very freaked out for me. Right now, maybe that's why I've been having so many gases and burps. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm a little scared of the doctors, unfortunately. I really am. <sighs> Ow! It hurts. Oh my god. This has never happened to me before, ever, in the history of my mukbangs, ever. This has never happened where I am in pain from eating. And I've had a lot of crap over the years. <laughs> even fire noodles sometimes, I don't even feel it. Like, I did something. I think, I am, in my opinion, it was the mixture of the aspirin and the, and the sp intense spice. The Cheetos noodles. That video better make me $5 million. <laughs> the payment for my damages. You know, and so far it's maybe like four dollars. It doesn't have that many views because it's on my Noodle King channel. That has the worst CPM ever. It's the ASMR channel, which you know, whatever. But uh, that video literally ended my bugs. I need to go change the title. This is the video that's ending my career. I don't know what happened to my stomach. I mean, I can't think of. I mean, I've had food poisoning before. It's not like this. But then again, it. It's not just nausea. It feels like I feel heat. I feel heat. I feel like there's fire in my stomach. I feel heat, like physical heat. I'm so sad, but you know what? I'm gonna get all healthy now, okay? And I'm sad I can't even enjoy my last meal. Oh, I'm very sad. Well, you guys, um... It hurts. Like, I feel like I need to throw up. It's horrible. Every time I eat, this is day four. I know I'm repeating myself. I don't know what to say. I took so many papaya pills and like digestive enzymes and it didn't make a difference. I, I tossed and turned all night. Well, enjoy your last feast. I'm gonna do something radical and crazy tomorrow and I hope you will join me for the ride. I'm so scared because I love food. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh. I can't even eat. God. Merry Christmas, everyone. And a big thank you to my patrons for supporting these videos. And a huge thank you to my executive producers, Violetta R. Rainbow Star, Jody, and Jamie Baby Cotto. If you'd like to become a producer for Christmas and help support my channels, or if you just want to join the community to see what else I'm posting, come on over to my Patreon by clicking the link down below. You must be age 18 or older. And for something even more personal, gift yourself an eight minute long personalized video just for you. Or book a video for someone and surprise them this holiday season. It makes a great Christmas present. We can also DM each other and chat one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to watch even more content from me, come follow my Patreon. But if you want a personalized video or just want to talk, come over to my Cameo. Patreon and Cameo are both linked down below. Thank you so, so much. 
Merry Christmas. Bye.